Hello friend, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky if you're new and I wanna welcome you into my kitchen. We've got some hauls we're gonna go through today. Earlier today, we went to Costco, Target, and Trader Joe's because I'm having a dinner party this weekend and I needed to get some goodies there plus just some groceries today for that dinner party. We not only have those hauls we're gonna go through today, but I also yesterday went to a local farm and I purchased some pretty big bulk items of produce and then today, when we were going to Trader Joe's and all the fun places, we actually went to another farm and purchased something a little unique. So I figured let's go through this farm produce and farm goodies before we get into the Trader Joe's Costco and Target haul because this is a little unique. The first two things I got are red jalapenos. I got five pounds of these to make homemade sriracha sauce. Sriracha is typically made with red jalapenos. Plus I got five pounds of green jalapenos to make cowboy candy. I'm gonna make some for Josh and I and some to gift. Now I do have jalapenos growing in my garden, but my jalapenos did not do well enough to get this much jalapenos. And so I went ahead and I purchased this bulk order to get them while they are still in season. This farm, I have had a relationship with them for the past seven years. I used to be a member of their CSA, which stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Basically you become a member of the farm at the beginning of a growing season, whether that's fall, winter, or spring, summer, you pay them a fee. And then usually throughout the growing season, it's once a week or every other week, you go to the farm and you pick up your produce. If it's a spring, summer CSA, usually it's once a week. And if it's a fall, winter one, usually it's twice a week because the produce that comes out of the spring, summer garden is typically stuff that doesn't last very long. And so you wanna go once a week. And then the fall, winter, it's typically things like root vegetables and cabbages and things that last a lot longer. And so then it's usually twice a week. Because I have my own garden, I don't need to be a member of their CSA anymore, but I can purchase bulk produce from them when it's in season. I purchased 120 pounds of onions from him this year. This is about half of the onions I purchased. The other half are downstairs in my food storage room. I already brought them down there, so I only brought half back up here but I got 60 pounds of yellow onions and 60 pounds of red onions. This is the same quantity of onions I purchased from him last year, and it was not enough to get me through a year. A few of you were worried that 120 pounds of onions is way too many onions, but don't worry, it is not too many onions for Josh and I. We love onions. We like pickled. We just like them all different ways. We're gonna turn this onions into onion powder, pickled onions, caramelized onions, and plus just onions for fresh eating. And so, even though I know that 120 pounds is not enough to get me through the year, I'm okay with that because next week I'm gonna be harvesting the onions out of my garden and they have done better than any of the onions I've ever grown. And so I'm thinking between these onions and my onions, that's gonna be enough for a year. That's what I'm hoping. I used to purchase all my tomato products from this local farmer, or I would supplement tomatoes from the ones that came out of my garden so that I could can a year's worth of tomato products from local tomatoes. But this is the first year I didn't have to buy any tomatoes from him, but I'm still grateful I have him as a resource for purchasing some of these items that I needed a little bit of help that my garden didn't quite do enough to get us through a whole year. So that's one farm. And now this second farm, we actually went to together and picked this up. This is very unique. If you have never purchased chickens from a local farmer, a lot of times the only way you can purchase them is whole birds. Well, this farm is a farm that I've been purchasing chickens from for probably the past seven years as well. And I didn't need to purchase the whole bird. And the cool thing about this farm is they do all the processing on farm and they sell more than just the whole bird. They sell parts. So you can purchase from this farm chicken breast, chicken thighs, chicken leg quarters, chicken drumsticks, and some different parts. And so what that does is when they part out a bird, it leaves the back of the chicken. And that's still really good and useful. Mo usually when I would purchase chicken from them, I would purchase the whole bird, cook it, take the meat off, and then turn those bones into broth. Well, I don't need any chicken in my house right now. I have enough chicken in my house, but what I don't have enough of is chicken broth. And so that's what this is for. These are the chicken backs. So when they part out a bird, when they take the breast off, the, the thighs off, there's still a lot left. And that's what I bought here. So this is not something you would roast and make a dinner out of. There's still a lot of meat on this. So when I cook these to make broth, I've got 
four birds in this one package and I purchased four of these packages in this box. It was more affordable for me to purchase a bulk quantity and that's what I did. And I'm gonna make a year's worth, I'm hoping a year's worth of broth to get on my pantry shelf because I only have two quarts right now of chicken broth and that's just not enough. This is a very affordable way for me to get the best, highest quality chicken broth or bone broth really on my pantry shelf for the, it's just the best bang for my buck. If you've looked at bone broth prices at the grocery store, it is astronomically expensive and this is gonna be a lot more affordable. So I am going to process these probably in the next two weeks or so. They're frozen, so I'm just gonna stick them back in the freezer and then when I have time, I'm gonna pull them out and make a bunch of broth. So these chickens are pasture raised, which means they're raised outside on grass and they eat bugs, they move them every day. This farm grows pork, beef, chicken, and eggs. Before we get into the grocery haul, I do wanna remind you that the hosting e-course that my mom and I developed is now live and available, and I can link to it down in the description box. If hosting has always felt overwhelming or scary or you're not even sure where to start, my mom and I break it down for you and how we plan a party, and our whole goal is to not only enjoy the party itself, but to enjoy from the conception of the idea of the party all the way until you're putting your dishes in your dishwasher that you can kind of enjoy the whole process because you've had it planned out to where you're not stressing and confused and worrying about everything. You, you have it all laid out and you know what you're doing step by step by step. So if you, you know, aren't sure, are my guests gonna like the food I choose? Am I gonna be able to get the food out hot on time? Am I, you know, what areas of my house do I need to have show ready, things of those natures. My mom and I walk you through our process on how we like to host a party. So if you're interested in that, that will be linked down in the description box as well. Our goal is to empower you, especially going into this holiday season, that you can bring people into your home and create memories with the ones you love. So now let's get into the Costco haul. So like I said, I have now reached the age where I purchase some clothing items where I buy my groceries and Costco is a place where I do that quite often. So the first two things I got at Costco and I'm really excited about these purchases are some rain boots. Now I really, I've bought these before in the past and I think they are so comfortable and I think they're cute. These are gonna be great for, you know, we live in the Pacific Northwest so it rains a lot in the fall and winter and they're gonna be great for gardening, great for going out and doing things around town, going to Costco when it's raining. So I got a pair of those, and then I also got a pair of these. If I live at my last homestead, I probably would never have bought these because these are some snow boots. They are fleece lined, and they are gonna be really nice and warm. Our last house, we got maybe one or two or three days of snow. Last year at this new homestead, we got so much snow. It snowed all the time and I absolutely loved it, but I don't own snow boots. So last year I was wearing rain boots when it was snowing and my feet were freezing. So I thought these were super cute and they would be great for this winter doing chicken chores and just doing random small things outside where I need something a little bit warmer than just a rain boot. So they're fleece lined, they're super warm, they're super cozy. They came in black, black leather, black rubber, but I liked this brown combination a little bit better, so that's what I went with. The last clothing item I bought at Costco is this coat, and I was hoping that they were gonna have this coat when I went there today. It's long, it's lightweight, so last year we went shopping at Costco and I purchased a coat, and I'm still gonna wear that coat. It's in great condition, but it's a lot thicker than this one. This is pretty thin. This is more like a windbreaker type coat. It's not waterproof or anything. So it's just gonna be on those days where it's windy, it's cold, and I need something a little bit lightweight. I like that it's long. Josh refers to these as trash bag coats. <laughs> I had this exact same coat from Costco many years ago, and I wore it to death, and he called it my trash bag coat, so I'm sure he's gonna call this one that as well, and I loved it then, and I love it now, and so I'm really excited that they had it. So those are the clothing items I bought at Costco. The household item I bought at Costco is some toilet paper, so I got that, and that's great. Now let's get into some of the food items I got. I got some things that I don't normally buy and I'm really excited about them. Well, this is something I normally buy. This is some avocado spray. I'm completely out of this, so I'm glad to have this back in my kitchen. And then we are completely out of this brand of rice. This is a very sticky rice. Josh and I love it. The only place I can get it at a great, great price is Costco. 
So I got a 25 pound bag and we love this for anything Asian. It's really sticky and just really, just really good rice. We love rice. We really like rice around here. We like a lot of different kinds of rice. I try to keep basmati, jasmine, brown, all the rices. And this is one of our favorites. So it was sad that we were out. I needed some bourbon for the cocktail that we're gonna be having for the dinner party. And then I got vodka because I need to make a bunch of homemade vanilla extract. I normally use spice drum when I make vanilla extract. You've probably heard me say that before in the past, but they didn't have any at Costco and I didn't wanna to go to another store because we were already running around town. So I just went ahead and got uh, vodka. That works just as good. I've already ordered my vanilla beans. I ordered 50 vanilla beans. So sometime this next week, I'll be making a big batch of vanilla and that is gonna be for Christmas gifts and then just for my own baking as well. These next two items are items I have purchased in the past. I don't buy them all that often, but I've got a couple different recipes that I'm gonna be making in the next week or so that are some dump and go recipes. And so I needed pierogies and tortellinis. I've had both of them and they are really good. So I'm excited and looking forward to experimenting with some new recipes using these products. And here I got some mayonnaise, this is our favorite mayonnaise. It's made with avocado oil, and I only have a little bit left of the one in the fridge, so I grabbed a new one of those. Now, these are two new items I have never tried before. This is an Asian cashew chopped kit, salad kit, and this is a Mexican street corn chopped kit. Costco had a ton of salad kits that I had never seen before, and I was thinking these one of these is gonna be dinner tonight. I grilled up a bunch of chicken yesterday, so I've got that in the fridge. And if you guys seen those reels where you go grocery shopping, you run around town, and then you come home and you pick up takeout on your way home because you're too tired to cook. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, <laughs> I knew I was not gonna wanna cook when I got home after all of this shopping and running around town. So I picked up these salad kits, one, because I wanted to try them, they were new. And two, I knew I had cooked chicken, so this was gonna make a really easy, quick dinner tonight. And then obviously there's four packs here. So I'll probably end up eating one or two of them for lunch in the coming week. Coming around here, this is the rest of the Costco haul. So I'd like to buy dairy products at Costco when I can because I find them to be a pretty good price. This is our favorite, favorite cheese and I only ever buy it at Costco because it is the most affordable at Costco. This is the Tillamook Sharp White Cheddar, two years aged. And then this is our favorite Parmesan cheese as well. And again, I only buy this at Costco because it is half the price per pound than what I can pay for it at Kroger. So we got those. I need this for the pasta recipe we're gonna be making. We're gonna make pumpkin pasta for the dinner party. And then this and the baby bells, these are for quick lunches and snacks for me or whoever in my house wants them. I love to have these high protein items as an option for if I'm doing a big gardening day or cooking day or preservation day or errands day. And I need to be able to grab something quick and easy that's gonna keep me full for a while. So I'll grab one of these snack packs or two baby bells and an apple from the orchard because I have so many apples right now in my fridge from the apples we grew on this homestead. And so this between an apple and one of these or two baby bells makes a really good snack or lunch or breakfast. I like to buy my milk at Costco as well. So I like these because they're half gallons. Josh and I don't go through a ton of milk. So what I will do is I will put one of these half gallons in my refrigerator and the other three in my freezer and this will last us probably two months. We just, we don't drink milk. It's mostly just for cooking. And then I got a half and half for my coffee and for the creme brulee, I'm gonna make a dessert creme brulee for the dinner party. I needed heavy whipping cream and I got some sour cream. I am super happy with this sour cream. I bought this for the first time with you when we went shopping for the 4th of July party. I love the ingredients. It's just cultured milk, cream, and enzymes with live active cultures. And it's it tastes wonderful. So this is really great for when I don't have the Nancy sour cream, I really enjoy this Dairy Gold sour cream with live active cultures. It's got clean ingredients and it's just really delicious. And then this is a new product that I have never seen at Costco before. It's A2 organic whole milk yogurt, grass fed, and I'm excited to try this. So we will eat this with 
granola and probably a little bit of jam to sweeten it. And I, we, we like yogurt around here, so I'm excited to give this a try. This is a really good price for the quality of yogurt. And then I bought this for the dinner party. For the vegetable side for the dinner party, I'm gonna do a shaved Brussels sprout salad. I'm gonna make a homemade poppy seed dressing, and then I'm gonna put some other goodies in it. It's gonna be, I, well, I don't know. I've never made it before. Maybe I should put bacon in it too. I just had that thought. I'm kind of making this salad up in my head, but I am really looking forward to Brussels sprouts. We have not had Brussels sprouts in forever. I do have two Brussels sprout plants out in the garden, but they look really sad, and I don't think I'm gonna get any Brussels sprouts from them. And so this is exciting because we have, haven't had Brussels sprouts in probably six months. So this is gonna be really good. Okay, so for some beverages for me and for the party, for the bourbon spice cocktail, it's a cranberry cocktail. It also has calls for ginger beer. So that's why I bought this. And then I like to keep this on hand to make mocktails or just as a non-alcoholic option for people when they come over. People in my family and my friends like ginger beer. So I buy this at Costco because it's the best price. And then for me, I bought two cases of Waterloo. These were on sale and there is something just so enjoyable to me after a long day in the garden or in the kitchen to crack open a cold carbonated beverage. <laughs> and, and Waterloo is my beverage of choice on those days as a treat, a pick me up, a keep going, or you did a great job treat. And so I got two cases of this. They were on sale, so each can was only 29 cents, which is a great price for carbonated water. So that is my Costco haul really happy with it. A lot of this stuff is going to last a long time. We're going to, I mean, this rice is going to last a long time. Our milk, our sour cream, the waters, the shoes, the jacket. So that was a great haul. I'm really looking forward to that. And now let's get into the Trader Joe's haul. I really like buying salami and charcuterie board type things at Trader Joe's because they're a great price. They're probably honestly a better price at Costco, like per pound, but I don't need that quantities. We can't go through it. So I went ahead and picked up a salami and a pepperoni for a charcuterie board that we're gonna have at the beginning of the party. So it's gonna be like a grazing plate and kind of icebreaker because not everybody knows each other at the party. And so that's just a way we can kind of, you know, do something, we can eat. <laughs> so for the charcuterie board, I went ahead and got some Swiss cheese. I'm gonna put some of that cheddar cheese on the charcuterie board as well. This is just, I purchased this for us I really like Trader Joe's provolone cheese. I think it's the best provolone cheese I've ever had. And so since I was there, I bought this. For the charcuterie board, I bought some pita bites. I've never had these before. I've got some other crackers downstairs, so I'm gonna use these and those, and I'm excited to give these a try. And then I can't go into Trader Joe's without getting some chocolate covered pretzels. These are Josh's favorite and I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time, and so he hasn't had them, so I bought those for him. It was cute, I had to drop something off at his work on my way home from doing all this shopping, and I told him I bought him a treat that were these chocolate covered pretzels, and he said he almost wrote on my grocery list pretzels because my grocery list was on my desk over there for a little bit, <laughs> and he saw it, and he's, he said he almost wrote pretzels, but he didn't, and I already know that if I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, I gotta get them chocolate covered pretzels. The last thing I got at Trader Joe's is a pound of rigatoni for the pumpkin pasta. Rigatoni is my favorite pasta to use in the pumpkin pasta. You can use any kind of pasta you have on hand, but since I was going to the store, I figured I would go ahead and get a pound of rigatoni, even though I've got some other pastas on hand. I just realized I forgot one thing this is the last thing I got at Trader Joe's and that is just some dried cranberries. They're sweetened and that is for the salad. I love dried cranberries in my chicken salad and in my salad. And I don't have any cranberries in the house so I purchased a little bag of those. The last store we went to is Target. We went to Target together and I got nine little ramekins because we need them for the cream brulee. I don't have ramekins so that's what these are for. I got nine of those. And then I did want to get a couple things for my front. Oh, I did. I, there's, I bought three massive mums from Costco. I'll show you what they look like. Huge, beautiful. They were a great price. And I want to decorate my back porch and my front porch with those mums and with, see if I can show you. Let's see. We might have to go outside, let me show you. So I want to do a little bit of fall decorating and I knew that I wanted to buy mums and use 
the pumpkins that we grew this year on the homestead. You can see, if you were with me when we harvested these pumpkins, this is a pumpkin I harvest, harvested green and it is starting to ripen, so that's a great sign. But I've got all these pumpkins that I want to put around this back patio and my front deck. And so I needed a couple things to go along with those pumpkins. Right now for my front door, I don't have any sort of rug or mat or anything when people walk into the front and I need some sort of rug. So I want to start kind of not massively decorating for the seasons, but starting to decorate a little bit. And so what I'm thinking when it comes to decorating for the seasons is trying to purchase and invest in pieces that don't scream one season. So I, I did invest in a tablecloth for this dinner party because the tablecloths that I have are hand-me-downs from my mom and they're kind of stained. I could use them, but I thought this was a good excuse to go ahead and invest in a nice tablecloth. And I want the tablescape to be fall inspired. I want my front porch to be fall inspired, but the pieces that I'm gonna keep around my house for a while, I didn't want them to scream fall because I wanna be able to transition them to other seasons. So I went with, for the tablecloth, this kind of off-white tablecloth with these black stripes. And my thought is, as long as this fits my table, it says it fits a six to eight person table so I'm hoping it's 60 inches by 84 inches. We'll open it and set the table together. As long as this fits, my idea is that this does not scream one particular holiday or season. So I could, depending on what I put on the table, change up the seasons and I can use the same tablecloth for different seasons. My same concept when it comes to the rugs I purchased. I don't wanna store a bunch of seasonal decor in my house because I, I do prefer to keep things a little bit more minimal. And so when it comes to like storing things, and so I was thinking I'm gonna invest in the things that I need to store for a while to be plain, and then whatever I put around it will be for the season. So I'm gonna put pumpkins and my mums around these two rugs, and that's what's gonna tell me that it's fall. And then I can compost, I can eat the pumpkin, or I can give the pumpkin to my chickens. I can plant the mum in my landscaping and I can not have to store all that. And then when it comes to Christmas, I could maybe purchase a little Christmas tree to put by the front door or something that I could compost, recycle or whatever it might be. And I can keep the same rug and rugs. This is the first time I've, I've seen this for so long where you stack rugs. I think it's really cute. So I actually did purchase two separate rugs. I'm gonna use these for my front porch and then so this is my tablecloth I bought for the table. And I'm gonna set the table with some of the pumpkins that I grew out of the garden. And that's what's going to indicate that it is fall. And then maybe for Valentine's Day, I would put, you know, like red flowers for the party. Or, you know, I can use the same tablecloth. I can just put different things on the table for the other holidays. I hope that made sense with the transitional pieces and investing in pieces that can transition from season to season. And that way I'm not having to store a bunch of seasonal decor, but I can start incorporating some seasonal decor in my house because I think it's cozy. I think it's warm. I think it's inviting and it's enjoyable to have decorations for the seasons, but I don't necessarily want to store all that stuff. I don't want totes of stuff of seasonal decor, but I'm gonna decorate with the mums and the pumpkins and then we're gonna eat the pumpkins and we can plant the mums if I don't kill them. <laughs> or I could compost if I, you know, I'm decorating for Christmas with a bunch of greenery or whatever it might be. I hope that makes sense. I am, I am functioning on about four hours of sleep last night. So we did a great job today. We got a bunch of stuff done. I need to get all of this stuff put away so that we can hit the ground running tomorrow with all this food prep. We are going to be doing a bunch of food prep tomorrow. One way my mom and I like to have stress-free hosting is we don't do everything on the same day. We shop on one day, we cook on one day, we clean on one day, and then we try to have as much of those things done. We set the table on one day so that on the day of the party, we can just heat up the food. We don't have to cook the food, clean the kitchen, and all those things. So if you're interested in kind of a deep dive into hosting, don't forget, that e-course will be linked down below for you. If you want to find a local farmer in your area, 
I'll link local harvest down there for you as well. So thank you for taking time again out of your day if you are returning and if you're new, welcome. I hope to see you again. If you enjoyed this, I can pop a couple of my other videos here. You can go enjoy between now and my next upload. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye friend.